Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to read next lesson of English grammar class 6. So open your books at page 17. We are going to read lesson 4. It is about adjectives. As we have already discussed that adjective is a word that enhances the meaning of a noun or it describes a noun. So we have to study the text from the top. Here some examples are given. Robert is a tall boy. All these words which are shown with red are adjectives. Robert's father is tall. Robert is tall too. Robert is as tall as his father. It is equative adjectives. Because here we are equating Robert with his father, that he is as tall as his father. So this kind of adjective is called equative adjective. Next example, Robert is not as tall as his father. Here we are equating the boy with his father, but we are inserting not in the beginning. So this kind of equative adjective is called negative equative adjective. Robert is taller than his father. Here we are comparing Robert with his father. This kind of comparison is called comparative adjective. Robert is the tallest in the family. This is superlative adjective. So we can say that equative adjectives are marked by the words as dash as or not as dash as. Comparative adjectives compare qualities of two persons or things. They are followed by the word then. As apparent from the word comparative that we are going to make comparison between two persons. And superlative adjectives. They compare qualities of three or more than three persons or things. They are preceded by the word the. In superlative adjectives we make a comparison between three or more than three persons. So we have three kinds of adjectives or degree of degrees of adjectives. They are equative adjectives, comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives. Now move to the bottom here. I have done this for you. You have to underline the adjectives and you have to tell the kinds of the adjectives and you have to put a box or you have to make a circle around the noun or pronoun to which they are describing. In first statement, a presentation was as good as theirs. So presentation is noun and as good as. It is an equative adjective because we are equating our presentation with theirs. Second one, the red frog was not as pretty as the blue one. Here the frog is noun. And not as pretty as the blue one. It is negative equative adjective. Over the pe over a period of time, Helen proved to be more intelligent than him. Here, we um, it is now Helen is noun, and more intelligent than him. Here we are making comparison, so it is comparative adjective. His walk is slower than a snail. Here walk is noun and slower than a snail. We are making comparison with a snail. So it is comparative adjective. The next page. Okay. Which is the most beautiful beach in the world? Here the most beautiful is superlative adjective and beach is noun. Betty is the youngest student in the class. Betty is noun and the youngest student is the superlative adjective. Practice A. You have to fill in the blanks with equative adjectives. Okay, the new canteen was as big as the old one. The new series of children's stories is as exciting as the previous series. The month of January has as days as the month of May. We have used the word 
in the bracket. The new school building is as spacious as the previous one. Look at the picture. Study them carefully. Make at least five sentences using comparative adjectives. So this is homework. You have to do it. Uh, this exercise in your copies. And uh, I am going to do one for you. So it will make you more clear. As in the picture, Sam, he has four cars. In the Tony, he has six cars. So you have to make the sentence like that. Sam has less cars than Tony. Tony has more cars than Sam. In this way, you can make sentences. Move to next. Practice. Okay, you have to fill in the blanks with superlative form of adjectives. Use most or ESD. As we know that we have to use the third form of verb. Okay. Among the three friends, Nick has the biggest house. We have to use the third form of big, bigger and biggest. So, it is the superlative form of adjective. He has the largest collection of toys among his friends. She is the cleverest girl in the class. Cleopatra was considered the most beautiful lady in the world. Paris is the most fashionable city in the world. So here you have to modify, modify the adjectives in the brackets according to the structure of the sentence. I have done for you. You have to copy in your books as well. I'm going to read it for you. Daisy's story is one of the saddest stories you could have ever heard, said Matilda, a friend of mine. Poor thing, she was one of the most beautiful children I have ever seen, but she was also the most neglected child. Her parents often beat her up mercilessly and kept her starved. Daisy was becoming thinner and weaker by the day. The other day, she knocked at my house and begged for some water. She was so thirsty that she drank seven glasses of water in one go. Very often, I would see her sitting near the rabbit's cage, eating cabbage leaves and other food offered to the rabbits. I knew then how hungry she was. Last week, she was given the worst treatment. She was locked out of the house for three nights at a stretch. Those were the coldest nights of the year. So class, this lesson is done for you. I think it will be clear to you. Thank you.